så uh, roll is L again. That was a surprise, not me. This is starting to get. Um, it's humoristic all of the way. I mean, it's like I mean, it's bad for her to be ill all the time. I feel really bad for her, but it's like <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, it's just too much. But uh, it's nothing I can do anything about, and uh, she's fairly okay. I mean, she's not really suffering from it. Just she has a fever and a cold, and um, yeah, she's such a good spirit anyway. And the thing is, she always is, almost always is. She's uh, Little, yeah, she's a little fighter. Uh, yesterday, um, but I must have given her something she didn't, um, she shouldn't have at preschool, because when she came come home, she had those rashes all over um, her torso and her right arm, and looked really bad, and I felt really bad for her, and she also complained about having um, stomach pain. And she complained, complained about that today also, and we can tell that it's not a case. Uh, I've been talking to them, and they claim that she hasn't eaten anything she shouldn't. So uh, we can write a list of everything she ate yesterday. So I can talk to her doctor and see if it's something more she reacts to, and I really don't think so, and I really, don't, really do hope it's not, because um, I think it's enough as, as it is. But if we claim we haven't done anything wrong, I, I can't do much about it, so yeah. So that's how that is, and uh, it's quite boring <laughs> to be home again. Uh, I love my work, I have a lot of things to do at work. Um, I start to do things at, from home, which I shouldn't, but I always end up doing anyway, because I don't like to be up behind on paperwork and so on, which I can do from home. Um, and I will start uh, probably next, next week or week after that um, with uh, volunteer work from Red Cross again. Uh, I've done that before when it came to uh, welcoming uh, people from other countries, refugees coming here and helping them to uh, apply for asylum and make sure people get food and clothes and some work to sleep and so on. And, um, I did that uh, a year and a half ago, and uh, now it's winter and a lot of people are cold, both uh, immigrants living uh, in the streets because we're afraid they will be deported uh, back to their other, co to other countries and so on, so some people keep away from um, law or something. Also people who are homeless and don't have anywhere to live um, are very all the way I was homeless, but I mean more like normal, see normal homeless people, I mean like average, you know, like, yeah, people like um, other people, not uh, refugees, but people from Sweden and so on, also are homeless. And um, as it's winter time, even if it's not very cold, it's way too cold to sleep outside. Uh, so um, Red Cross need more than volunteers to make sure that everybody has somewhere to sleep and uh, that they can get something warm to eat and so on. So I will start working as that again uh, after night times. And I shift between 9 and 1 o'clock a.m. And um, it's gonna be okay, I think. I think, I mean, if you just do that like once a week, it's okay to have those working hours and then go to the job in the morning. It's, it doesn't bother me that much. And I feel like it's a small sacrifice I can do in order to help others. And I can't take the shifts uh, at uh, Fridays or uh, weekends simply because uh, I don't have a babysitter for Will during when she's going to bed. Um, I don't want her to sleep at a, at a moment place. I want her to be home. And then it's my next door that's going to babysit her. And uh, yeah. It's a little bit tricky with all the miscommunications and so on, so I want her to be safe and uh, my every child to feel comfortable with the situation and they agreed to um, watch Ro those evenings, I think it's been nights, so I think it's going to be okay, because uh, I really can't stand just you know, knowing that so many people need help and not doing anything at all, I think it's, it's not in my personal life to just sit by. And uh, yeah, and I'm 
still and I will be for four years upset with uh, Donald Trump I think I think it's interesting that this would for a child not facts I know like everybody talking about that already but I think it's still something like you know very yeah I think I should start a private in like a term to working hours that would be good a term of weather it would be really nice now right now I mean I could say it's super snowing yeah got a lot of nice snow everywhere but it's uh, four degrees uh, Celsius and raining well that's you know alternative person of a tell well um, I think part of also this makes me upset me because um, I had this relationship with this guy who had alternative everything like alternative troops but this a basic thing alternative um, um, feelings that's also interesting um, he would say that it was complicated. I would call it hypocrisy. But um, alternative feelings is something, I think that's better. Alternative versions of everything. I could call that lying, but hey, alternative well, sounds better, you know. Uh, or all of this was gay, have a completely alternative or alternative relationships. Oh, one can think you are in a relationship with somebody and uh, maybe not because that's just talented person of reality to that person. Overall, re talented realities are a really big thing, I think. Yeah. It's not fun to live with somebody who has a talented realities, but um, it could be very convenient. It could be really could be useful, you know, with those talented persons of things. I think I'm going to start a talented economy, you know, for myself, a private economy. Like one when I can do and spend the money I make on the things I want and not the things I should need. That would be really fun, you know. Hmm? I could try it for a few months and see what, you know, my landlord and so on thinks about it. You know, like, I could always tell them this, like, you know, this is just a total diversion, you know. I'm not sure they would agree 